right, everybody, welcome to the Horsepower Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Michaela, Natasha, our leading tackler, Micah Awe, is here as well. We are on the Coors Light Corral here at the greatest outdoor patio in Calgary and here to get pumped up for the home opener this Friday, June 7th. This Friday, we are here. It has arrived. Are you excited to get going after this very long training camp? I mean, you just smell it in the air. <laughs> Right. Seriously, it just it just stopped raining yesterday in Calgary. My in-laws are in town. I told them it never rains. It's not BC. They didn't believe me, but in Calgary, I knew it would come through today. Right. And here we go. Look at that. We just need this wind to die down. Yeah. Just a little bit. For I'm Friday. used to it. In Lubbock, Texas Tech. Lots of wind. This is this is it's as normal. This is normal. This is normal for me. I was wondering how long it was gonna take until we got the first Texas Tech oh. mention, and literally we got <laughs> it with it. Oh, what? We can make so seconds. many comparisons. <laughs> comparisons like uh, my my little girl actually just saw the horse after the game, which is exactly what Texas. I don't know who copied who, but Texas Tech has a horse. They're red and white and black, just like Calgary. I don't know. So this is destiny then, is what you're saying, that yeah. you're outfitted in similar I didn't have to change colors and no. the horse and everything. It's destiny. Nice. It's meant to be. Tell us about your daughter. Oh, we have really? lots of stuff to get into, but <laughs> yeah. I feel like maybe we should introduce you a little bit more because you're going to be on this podcast. You're going to be a regular on this, right? Yes. So yes. tell us about yourself. <laughs> um, Mike Alway. Um, I was last year's leading tackler. Yes, sir. I need to do that again because you're only as good as your last play. Football players know that. Um, went to Texas Tech, and it's my seventh year, and I wear number seven. It's good for marketing right there. Damn. Yeah, I bet y'all didn't know that one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I have a daughter named Raylan. Who is Elaine how old Alway. now? She She's is. A fresh baby. 19 days old. Oh, my goodness. Bo Levi day old. So he owes me a couple picks. Can't wait for that. Nice. That'll be good. Be a gift for my for Raylan, so I'll just hand it right over to right. Raylan afterwards. So, how much sleep did you get last night? Oh, good question. All right, so we've been switching up the techniques. Um, you know, the biggest thing is she loves tummy time. Oh, that's she good. She loves lots of babies don't. tummy time. Yeah, she loves it, but you know, you read all these blogs and first-time parents, you know what I'm talking about. You don't know which side to go. Tummy time, back. You, you, you're just scared. You're, you're scared and. My biggest thing, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional now, because I love it when she cries because I know she's alive. Right. That is the biggest thing I've learned. Totally. Like, she's crying, it's fine. I don't care if I don't sleep, she's alive. But when she goes quiet, you take like five minutes, you take a deep breath and you kind of open one eye, I lean over and I just check her tummy because right. she's, she's a tummy breather. Right. She's good at that. So. Um, <laughs> So her face is like straight down? Yeah. Or well, no, no, she, of, she's on her back in the bassinet, but when she's on my stomach, it's it's kind of scary because sometimes she'll like, she wants to feed all the time. She doesn't understand the difference between me and my wife. So she'll go <laughs> like a hard like, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> like, you're not paying attention and you're dozing off. Anyways, right. lots of scary moments, okay. way less scary than playing football. But you're enjoying being a new father, clearly. Yes, I'm awesome. sorry. I got right, right into That's that. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Let's knock off our housekeeping items yes. and then get into a little more football. We got a few things. Yeah. So we'll start off, obviously, our brand new app. Mike, I'm sure you've seen it as well. So all Stamps fans, if you're looking for content, if you're looking for news, if you're looking for game day, if you're looking for your tickets or to even check the schedule, Stampeders app, you can go down that, don't download that on iOS and Android. And before we get to home opener, we have a huge early bird prize this Friday. Um, fans who purchase 50-50 like tickets can win two tickets to Taylor Swift in Vancouver. You can't lose with that. Are you, you can't lose it. Are you a Swifty? It's a complicated question. I don't think I'm a Swifty. People don't think they are, but deep down they are. I know, I can't claim I'm a Swifty because my in-laws are in town and mother-in-law's there and they have Disney Plus. So guess what we watched this whole week? The Taylor Swift concert that's on (laughs) Disney Plus. And I immediately put on my noise canceling headphones (laughs) and worked on something else. Okay. Um, I don't hate Taylor Swift. Good. Get good. I, good. I do not hate. You just don't like her. I do not hate, hate Taylor You're Swift. I just can't claim I'm a Swifty. But you should still go to the concert because totally. I mean, it, it's she's a football person. 
Yeah, I watch football. I watch some games because I kind of do want to know what she's doing in the box. Mm -hmm. And even your old teammate, Patrick Mahomes, she's she's seeing Travis Kelsey. There's a connection there you again. Know, it's crazy that they're friends. I, you know, I remember <laughs> seeing um, Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend, now wife, and just seeing her that close to Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm that close to Taylor Swift, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm just as close. It, it's the same thing. Six degrees of Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, she's probably like three degrees. Yeah. Yeah, she's, everyone knows Taylor Swift at this point. What if she ends up listening to this podcast now and you just said that you're not oh, necessarily Oh, okay, if I were to go off of the, the Travis Kelsey formula, I would say um, I wanted to date her or something. Right. And then she would catch air of it and then, like, we'd go on some dates. But I'm married, so that's not a go. It's not going to happen. But I'd love to be friends. I I'm, I think they're friends with uh, uh, Patrick, so, yeah. I mean... Come to Calgary. Okay. I'm just gonna ask right. Come to Calgary. We go. we love you in Calgary. Yep. I, I I swear we do. If she doesn't come, we are giving away the two tickets, like you said. Exactly. 50 50. So that's that's awesome. Uh, another housekeeping item: the Coors Light Corral, which we are currently on. What is your What are your thoughts about this space? Think about this on Friday, full of people. The sun is shining. Drinks. An unreal football game behind, like, I don't think there's a better place to be in the city. It's a great angle, number one. Right, right? Like, I mean, how close we are to the end zone. You have this angle, no one's obstructing your view. You're out here on the patio. It's going to be a great day. You can't go wrong with it. You might as well come and experience it. Um, and maybe you get a football. And a lot of these receivers will yeah. get a touchdown. They, I guess they get a lot of touchdowns and they throw the ball up and they're probably going to throw it somewhere here. So you get an right. automatic souvenir, kind of like a baseball game. That's what we were thinking. Without being yeah. as bored. Yeah. <laughs> or you get an interception, pick Return six, it. and make your way through. That's another option. That's why I said receiver. I, I'm not throwing my ball in the stands. <laughs> yeah, you're keeping that one. <laughs> I'm keeping that. We don't okay. get a lot of touchdowns <laughs> as a defensive player, so we have to kind of keep our keep balls. Keep them, okay. Yeah, we have to keep ours, so um, but sorry. You, you could do a lap, though. Yeah, maybe we can, like, pass it around, like, back in school. Yeah. Like, you know, take it and pass it down. Everyone kind of look at the hamster and just everyone kind of get it and just bring it back at the end of the game. You I'll need, be cool with that. You need to be ready for this because it could legit happen. And, w like, you might not get very many interceptions, right? As like, long as no so one steals the plan. Just to... don't steal it. Okay. Like, I trust them. You, we have, we have like, their names and stuff. They have to sign up for this. So I know we all know who would steal it. So, yeah, I can do it. You can hunt them down. I'll all put right. it down here, and then we just go single file line. All right? And last person, just walk it down to Geo. He'll come meet you right there. <laughs> I like it. All right. I like it. Friday. Maybe you'll get one Friday. Yeah. So, yeah, the Cal Calgary is the biggest outdoor patio. Yeah. That's what we're deeming this. It is, right? There isn't a bigger patio in Calgary than right here. There isn't. I, I can see by the square footage. Even uh, if we count McMahon, right? Oh, oh then that, that's there's really no... There's no, no competition. There's no contest. You might as well come. Exactly. And speaking of this Friday, not only is it the home opener, Micah, um, it is the return of Bo Levi Mitchell, who you have not played with, but played against many times. How do you prep for going against a guy like that coming back here? Just what that means, that game to the fans and you preparing defensively to go against someone like him? Yeah, um, I'm going to give you a little snippet. Um, there's also a connection there with Bo Levi. How you say? <laughs> going back Tell to my wife. Her. So... Bo Levi went to Katy High School. My wife is from Katy. Not only that, her dad was the principal at Katy High oh. School for many years. So Coach Joseph, great legendary coach, he gave me a free shirt. I've been in Katy. I saw Bo Levi's jersey with Andy Dalton up there. I'm basically closer to Katy High School than Bo Levi is <laughs> at this point. He knows that. Um, but no, yeah, other than that, other than knowing everything about his life, um, <laughs> I know everything about how he throws the ball. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a fun game. Um, we on defense, it's different. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all he's getting out of this because I know he's gonna watch this. <laughs> uh -huh. It's gonna be different, or it's gonna be the same, or it'll be differently the same. Different but better. Better and different. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're giving away no secrets. None, none. None. He's not getting anything out of us. But um, what he's going to get out of us is a couple of interceptions. I'll, I will say that. Um, I think he's going to give us at least, let's go over under two. Okay. I think that's what Vegas is saying. Okay. Yeah. 
Jeez. Yeah, I'm Vegas, by the way. Vegas, you're Vegas. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I always do the cool little Vegas. By that. No, I, I do my, my my scale. I go okay. on the weight every day, and I ask the trainers over under, and I'll give them a uh, a number. I see. And I'm always Vegas, so I always win. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful now though, because we we don't want to give bulletin board material to that side, right? So you gotta you gotta watch. <sighs> What they're number said. eight in the power ranking. We're number nine. They, they're, we're the underdogs. <laughs> we're gonna get to that in a second. We yeah, are the underdogs. yeah, technically, which is. I'm sorry, I, I went too early. Strange. No, let's do it. <laughs> you know let's, what? let's do it. Let's jump in. Power rankings, go. I, we don't need. Maybe we need to set this up a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's set it up. So first off, the off season, the CFL ranked us ninth in the power rankings out of nine teams. Today for week one, they ranked us ninth out of nine teams with power rankings. How does that make you feel, Micah? Incredible. Disgusted. No, incredible, incredible. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been the underdog in my career, um, but as a team, this is probably the worst team you could put at number nine. I will tell you that right now. Um, and also, it's just, I mean, being real is like, uh, I guess no one's expecting anything out of us, so I'm just going to go out there and have a good time, right? <laughs> Sarcasm. Like, just like that. So sarcasm yeah. right I like there. That. that was sarcasm. I think people could hear in your voice if they're not necessarily watching this. Yeah. That was some, some people can't hear sarcasm. Okay. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> some people can't hear it. Okay. Like some people are horrible with sarcasm. They're like, oh he's dead serious. I'm like, no, no, calm down. It's, it's fine. I'm just being I'm kidding. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to these rankings though, does that do you listen to that noise or do you ignore it? Does it give you an edge or do you kind of just be like, you know what guys, like let's just stick to our game. We know who we are as a group. How do you look at that? All right, so the politically correct answer yes. is <laughs> I don't listen to any of that. Keep my head down. Don't have a social media. That's all a lie. Oh, yeah, I listen to that. Oh, man. I To me, to me, in, in, in the real sense, to me, that's kind of like that is the the spark. Mm -hmm. So my feel is me. Like, feel like you can't tell me I'm the worst player. Like, I'm going to always try to prove you wrong. We're going to always try to prove you wrong. But it's a spark, though. And that's what catches on fire. So um, I look at all of that because I read what com every comment that comes about me. Like I read it up because to me, I need to know what people are thinking about me. And if it's bad, I'm going to change your mind. I'm going to change your mind. Well, it's a tricky game to play, though, Micah. Yeah, it's tricky, but you can you can still. I think you have thick skin, though, from what I can tell. Like you can take those oh. comments. I think. The football comments are nothing. I'm telling you, my, okay. my household, okay. so like my parents, the Nigerian, pretty tough. If anyone has any Nigerian friends, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to go deep into that. Um, oh, yeah, getting yelled at by a coach, that's nothing. Uh, going out here doing gassers, that's nothing. Try try being an engineer and doing homework right after practice at 8 p.m. for 8 to 12. Life is good, trust me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I am good out here, man. Um, I'm having a podcast as my extra work for football. Right. What? <laughs> I just feel like fans on social media can be pretty mean. So I appreciate where you're coming from that you want to prove them wrong, and that's good mm -hmm. that you listen to it all of it, mm -hmm. but, but it, people are nasty and terrible. I, I, <laughs> I, I could have my own podcast on, I've on had, social I, media. I, that's for a different day. Let's, let's talk about well, this a little. A little. We got all season to talk <sighs> about that. But yeah, let's, yeah, okay. I'll talk about it a little. Well, sure. Me, I'm a type of person that I'm gonna kill you with kindness. That's good for that's you. That's the best yeah, way. Look, I'm gonna. Yeah. And if you want to ever, if they want to jump, maybe we have that in the segment. If you want to jump on the podcast and oh, talk about how yeah. bad I am, I'll have a decent conversation with you and pull up film. To me, we need to pull up more film. That's all we need. We you know, if someone says this guy's good, this guy's bad, just pull up the film and it's, let's all watch it together. We could open the phone. That's lines. all I'm gonna say. That's all sure. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna drop there and we'll talk about it later on the okay. season. Okay. I love y'all. I forget where, what we were talking about, though. What, how did we initially get to this? We were talking about power rankings. Oh, yeah, power rankings. And you you pay attention to all this stuff, right? <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Do, all the, do you think most of the team pays attention to this kind of stuff? Because I feel like guys say they don't, but like you, they actually do. What do you think percentage I mean, of guys in there are percent know mm. what's going on with those power rankings as well? I, I would say, for the most part, I, I, depends on who you're talking about. Okay. Um, like old linemen, I don't think they care. You know, <laughs> fair. They're like, yeah, you say we're bad, we say we're good. It doesn't matter. We're yeah. just gonna go out. But like, you know, like me, I'm a, I'm a fiery guy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at it. I, I was literally going to. I saw the power nine rankings. I just saw it. I was watching the film, and I was gonna post a GIF. I was, but I didn't have internet service, so now I have more time to do it. So it's gonna come out. I'm I'm posting some kind of GIF to make make it make sense. 
Um, oh, maybe that's it. There you go. Ma you make just it make found sense. it. You just landed on it. It's yeah. gonna be, I'm going to search make it make sense. Yeah. And then we're going to see what I get from there. Okay. And I'm going to post it because I saw Reggie said LOL. It's pretty oh, pretty much that. how I feel. That works too. Yeah, so. LOL. Okay. LOL. But here's the thing. What if Friday doesn't go as well as you want it to go? Oh, man. You're talking to a guy who's been on losing teams, winning teams. You can't be scared. Scared money don't make money. Um, <laughs> that's just the truth. Like, it, yeah. I, I, I'm a big believer in um, you speak things to existence. So um, to me, I say, yes, we're going to win the game. It's not being uh, cocky or being like that. We got to earn it. They're not just going to let us win the game. Mm -hmm. But um, at the end of the day, all your hard work comes in the off season. I mean, the work's kind of been put in already. You, you work for seven, eight months just for 50 plays a game. Yep. And so to me, I, I just I feel confident in just my hard work. And then after that, just let it fly. So I'm not making any guarantees. You can't make football. but. I can guarantee we're going to try to win. So <laughs> that's a guarantee. We're going to try. Have you heard that one before? We're going to try to win the game. I mean, oh, sorry, I almost got into it. The, the people think we try to lose games. No one tries to lose games. But we are trying our best. We will We will be passionate out there. We're going to do what we need to do. And we, like, we're, we're a different team this year. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see it. Win or loss, I'm going to be proud of those guys because of what I've seen in training camp and in preseason games. So it's, to me, I'm already confident in just how we are as a team. Can you dive into that a little bit more? Maybe we can kind of finish on that, just the identity of this team and why, because a lot of players have said that we are different this year. We are different. Can you, why do you think that is? It, it comes back down to team. I mean, we all hear it. Like there's a lot of teams that have like a lot of talent, right? And then don't go anywhere. I've been on a lot of those teams. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the camaraderie, you know, like we had bat ball like last week. Never heard of it before. Don't know if that's a Canadian thing. I've have, never heard of bat ball. Bat ball. Now, see, now we need Does, now you have to explain bat ball. Put that in the polls. What's Let's see how many ball? people know what bat ball is. I, I'm like, this has to be Canadian. Um, basically, it's baseball, but you uh, get a baseball bat and you have a soccer ball and you toss a soccer ball and the same exact rules almost kind of ish. Oh, um, man, you're supposed to, like, like, throw the ball at them or touch soccer ball with them. But it's baseball. And um, it was the most competitive. <laughs> it could have been an Olympic sport. Did it, you do it right here? With the yeah, guys? we did it right there. Two okay. games going at the same time. The whole team? The whole team. Oh. And it was fiery, to say the least. You got to tell us about this. Yeah. The oh, content know? people no. need to know. Oh, man, y'all should have had some cameras out we there. We don't know about <laughs> these things. I, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I, I hate to toot his horn, but Cam Judge was the MVP. His team did win. And he, oh, it was a fiery moment. Everyone's complaining about the rules. Cause I, so there's these, you have the, the, the squares for the, for the bases, right? And one time someone, you know, hit it to first base and our guy was already standing there and the person slid in. Uh -oh. And we, we all said, oh, like he's out, he's out. He's obviously out. They're like, no, no, you have to touch. We're like, oh, I mean, that's not how baseball really works because the, the, the base is supposed to be you touching it. Like, you are right. in the base. The next game, same exact thing happens. Suddenly, he's out the second time. So, <laughs> that just had a whole uproar. Mm -hmm. and both sides are screaming, and Cam Judge came out there, and he just, boom, into the bleachers <laughs> and just shut us up. So, um, I mean, <laughs> he's a gamer, right? Um, yes. But, oh, man. And then one time, I'm sorry, this is not football. <laughs> but everyone knows in baseball, I didn't grow up, play baseball growing up, but everyone knows in baseball, when there's a foul ball and you catch the foul ball, they're out. Yes. Confirmed? Confirmed. Confirmed? Confirmed. Confirmed. Yes. That didn't go through. Got, got to ask no. Daryl. Got to ask Daryl. He said, oh, nope, nope. Doesn't count. Oh, see, yeah. All right, we can move on to football. That's confusing. <laughs> this is why I didn't play baseball. You're fired up. You, I feel like you guys need to play again at the end of the season to maybe like have a rematch or something, considering. I like that. Just tonight. I like and that. you can invite our cameras and we'll come out and yeah. document it. That's How about good. we invite the team? Get the camera crew out there. Yeah, that's what I ball. mean. We'll bring the whole yeah. yeah. We'll no, y'all are podcast. playing. Y'all are playing. Oh. Y'all need a team. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I want to see y'all behind the cameras out know. there. <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah, that, yeah it's sure. it's fun. It's fun. Till you lose. Right. Till you lose. <laughs> yeah. But you're bonding as oh, a yeah. team is so, what you're saying. Sorry. So this, mm -hmm. that's Back okay. to the football. This is why we're here. We keep you on track. We bonded. I mean, after we figured out who won. <laughs> then we bonded right. and um, I mean we just didn't have 
those moments until later on in the season last year. And this year again, like, you know, just being out there on the football field, it, it's not the funnest thing all the time. But when you're tired, you're taking a deep breath because you can't breathe. You look around, you kind of just think of those moments and you're just like, man, like these are my guys. Mm-hmm. And like, we have that feeling. And, and, that's, and that's why it's like win or loss, I, I promise you like, that, that's the last thing we're looking at as a scoreboard. We're just trying to play for each other because at the end of the day, if I'm slacking out there, we gotta watch that film tomorrow and people are gonna keep me accountable. So win or loss doesn't matter. It's like, hey, Micah's giving his all. Cool, move on to the next side. And that's all we, that's what we have for each other on offense, defense and special teams. Perfect. I'm excited. I'm excited for Friday. It does feel different from our perspective too, I think, doesn't it? I think it does. I think we notice a different vibe during training camp. And I think, you know, coming off back-to-back West semifinal losses against the Lions, and even this team hasn't won a playoff game since the 2018 Grey Cup. So we're noticing a different vibe, a different energy. And even with some of the transactions that have been made this offseason, it's kind of a different group. There's some newer faces, some newer blood, some newer energy. So it should be a good matchup on Friday against the Ticats who also have some familiar faces with besides Bo, Luther, Moxie yeah. going over yeah. there. Yeah, it's Hamilton's going to be a good team. I don't know why they're ranking them eight. I don't think we should do power rankings in the beginning of the season um, anyways. But, um, <laughs> no, Hamilton's – Bo's still there. Like, people mm-hmm. don't understand. Like, they, they have a reason to be good. Mm-hmm. So, um, to me, this is not a cakewalk at all. Like, we're just saying that we're going out there and we're going to battle. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fun game. At the very least, if you're out here on the patio, you're going to have fun. Like, there's going to be touchdowns maybe on both sides, maybe on one side. I don't know, yep. but it's going to be fun. I feel like I might mosey up to this patio for <laughs> a few times, a few minutes during the game, too. Like, it's too good. If, I get, a touchdown, a good if I get a touchdown, Micah's running up. I'm running up. Is that gate going to be open? We'll keep. We'll open it for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it. I don't know. I would say hop the fence, but I don't know. This is like a you might, twenty foot fence. I'm not that athletic. That's why I said you need to plan it. I think you need to go like survey ladder. It right Someone now bring a ladder. Someone out. bring a ladder. Okay. If I see a ladder, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Someone bring a ladder. Put it right over this section, and I'll come run up. Love it. And one at a time, obviously. Make sure it's okay. set. Hook it up. Safety first. Then come up. <laughs> we'll talk to Jay McNeil. I'm sure he has nothing else to do at the moment right now. <laughs> I'm sure you can get a ladder. Find a red up. and white we'll make ladder. It happen. All right. All right. Good. Perfect. Great. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, y'all. Well, thanks, Thank you.